We'll round off our look at texturing by seeing how we can apply textures to a very complex surface, such as Gothic arches and vaults. Here's a Gothic arch which was built as described in one of the earlier tutorials. One of the big advantages of this method of construction is that it eases texturing considerably. Here is the texture I'm going to apply to the arch. It's a standard Caligari marble shader for colour, our trusty brick bump map, and matte reflectance. Notice the bump map has one U repeat, but four V repeats. Paint it on, and we can see that the bumps of the brickwork automatically arrange themselves as you would expect in a real arch. For the wall in between the arches, apply a planar UV mapping again, and then paint with basically the same material. Notice that this time there are two U repeats and only one V. Now if I copy the arch to make a pair and render, a seam becomes visible down the middle. There are several ways to deal with this. First, Boolean unite the two wall segments and reapply the planar map. Rendering shows that the seam has gone, but the brick texture may well have been stretched. Alternatively, after the Boolean union, arrange a cube so it spans the distance from one arch apex to the other, and overlaps front, back, top and bottom. Now Boolean intersect it with the wall. Now we have a slightly different arrangement. The seams will fall in the very narrow space at the tops of the arches and will be virtually invisible. Now we don't have to adjust the number of U repeats anymore, we just copy and move the wall segment instead. For vaults, Things are less straightforward. The UV map is a real mess. So, first, select all the faces making up one quadrant of the vault. Now apply a cubic UV mapping. Open the object info box and reset the rotation in, in X, Y and Z to zero and apply the UV map. Much better. Now repeat for the other sections. <laughs> 